What is up YouTube, Bonnie Foams here with a brand new video and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 and in today's video we are doing a tips and tricks tutorial for the volcano and lava wood. So the volcano is right over there, you can see it on the horizon, as uh, it's pretty high up there. And at the top of it, there are actually lava trees, or whatever you want to call it, lava wood. And we're going to go ahead, we'll do, a, I'm doing a video on teaching you different ways you can actually get up there. There's easier ways, there's more difficult ways. But then I'm also going to give you some other tips and tricks on like how to not die inside of the volcano, because you do take a lot of damage. First things first, we need to get a car. And it's recommended, uh, I mean, there's several ways you can approach this, but we're gonna get a truck just so that we can carry more lava wood in the bed of it, whereas like these regular cars, though they do go faster, they just don't carry as much. And there are several other ways you can actually like bring the lava wood down, basically. Um, you can like throw it over the edge, but we'll be going all over all of that. But first things first, let's get our truck like we just did, and we're gonna head over there. But one thing before we head there, is a fire axe so the fire axe has a buff when you're chopping lava wood so you should always try to bring one i think it's even better than the mini axe so let's go ahead and these are the presents that where you can get the uh, fire axe from you only can buy it from other players though so let's go ahead we open that up and we're gonna head over to the volcano and if you're new to the channel welcome uh, I hope you do find this video helpful, even if you aren't new. Um, I do try to create a lot of tutorial content for Lumber Tycoon 2. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to head up to the volcano. And there's a road you have to take there. It's like, let's spawn there. That's what are us. You just have to take this road up here and then you'll get to this um, little bit of an inclined road, you could say. I think it's like technically what, gravel? I don't know. I don't know what this is. But we're going to head up this road through the twists and turns and we'll make ourselves make our way to the entrance of the volcano so if you continue following this path you will eventually come to the entrance of the volcano and before we actually do go inside i want to show you one way you can actually get up the volcano which is i mean it might take a bit of time to master but you have to get like an axe or you can even use a piece of wood i think an axe is just more convenient you put your face up against the wall like this slide the axe underneath and then pick it up and then go like this and then once you get to the top uh you want to go ahead and walk forward and you'll sometimes drop the axe but that's one way you can get up the volcano and then you have all you have to do is just well and then there's another wall and then what you have to do here is just drop the axe and then do that same thing again and i think that's really helpful it's like a little handy glitch you can use to get up any wall in this game uh let's see can i like i'm gonna nope Okay, I, I, it was a nice try, but we still have our fire axe. And then all you have to do is climb up the side of the volcano. But the next way we're going to show you is actually pretty easy, or not easier, but it doesn't really involve this glitch. Um, so all you have to do, I mean, we're at the top already, yay. But this next one is just going to be driving through the volcano. Well, as we're walking down, I'll give you some pointers in case you do want to go that way. Um, even though it's a bit more, oh well, yeah, it's a bit more dangerous because you do have a chance of dying. Uh, it is the most straightforward way without involving any glitches that could uh, take some difficult time to master. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hop into our truck. And what you want to do, one, turn on your headlights by pressing L on your keyboard. Mobile, you probably have a button on your uh, phone or like Xbox. I don't know what that is. And then when you're driving up the volcano, you want to try to stick, I believe it's towards the edge of the lava pit. It might be a bit counterintuitive, but um, those are that's where the boulders are not. So let's go ahead and I'll show you really quickly. And if you do go in the volcano, boulders will start coming down and they will actually uh, like accumulate down here and it might make it difficult to actually enter again. But we're going to go ahead, we'll stick to the edge because as you can see, the boulders are bumping into the wall. And then here you have to time it correctly, try to break through the boulders. And then if, when you go up here, just wait. And then there's like a little break and go through. And just like that, you're at the top of the volcano. And you might die a few times. I even have a few comments on previous videos I've done on the volcano. People saying, Bunny, I don't like you. I mean, they, probably, they used the worst word. Um, but they said, Bunny, I don't like you because I died in the volcano because of you. I'm like, that's not my fault. So, um, yeah, it's not my fault if you die. I mean, it happens to everyone. I've died in the volcano dozens of times. And sadly, you do drop your axe when you die. Um, so try not to die. But if you do, I mean, you could try picking it up unless you get bumped into the pit of lava where nothing returns. But uh, we're going to go ahead. And now we're on to now that we like covered how to get to the volcano and, and to the top of it. We're going to go over how to chop the trees down and best ways of bringing it back to your base. It might be uh, seem pretty simple, just chop down and load into your truck. But one of the problems, if you look down here, we'll see, maybe. Well, I can't really see, but sometimes boulders are actually blocking the way down here. 
So what you'll want to do is this. So have your fire axe out, and as you can see, like fire axe, it has a very low cooldown, whereas the mini axe, though it does probably do more damage, it's lagging a bit. Okay, yeah, it does do a bit more damage, but it does have a much longer cooldown time, making the fire axe the best axe to use when chopping down lava wood. But once you have this tree chopped down, you want to go ahead and you can either break it up into smaller pieces um, and load it into your truck and try driving down, which I don't recommend. What you should do, just walk this over to the edge. And even if you have friends with you, that will make this process a lot um, easier. All you have to do is just walk over to the edge if we can actually push this tree. It is a bit um, heavy. So what we'll do instead is if you hold shift and then uh, the letters, you can actually move it, but you can also do this where you go like move your camera a lot. And as you can see, the lava wood goes over the edge and it topples down to the ground. And you want to uh, at least chop down as many trees as you can. And then once you have enough down there or your friend um, or you're, you just run out of trees, basically, then you can go ahead and begin chopping that wood, putting it into your truck and then bring it to your base to sawmill or to sell directly to Wood or Us. In the next step is actually getting down. So once you have your trees down there or loaded up into your truck, you can either go this way. Someone's already uh, coming up here, so um, the boulders will be uh, coming down and blocking the exit. So one way you can do it is just go over the edge like this. And there's chances, there's like a 50% chance you'll land it also. Oh, there we go. But in the event you actually flip on top of yourself or like you're um, upside down, basically, what you have to do is you have to pull out a blueprint. I mean, you can use a tiny floor. And when you're sitting in the car, you can actually like press R and move the car. So if you use these blueprints to um, like, say, for example, we're flipped over like this, just hop into the driver's seat, press T. Maybe this will fix it. There we go like that. Uh, so really easy to fix if you do flip over from driving over the edge, which I think is the best way after throwing the trees out. And there's the entrance completely blocked by boulders, so that's not really an option. But we're going to go ahead, and what we'll do now is we're going to chop this tree up with our fire axe into decent pieces. Um, as long as they fit in your sawmill, this works. If you have a lower level sawmill, you might only want to take the smaller pieces, such as these uh, branches here, whereas the trunk does require um, larger sawmills. And even some sawmills are still too small for certain trunks uh, for some reason. Well, not for some reason, but um, I've definitely chopped down lava trees before that have not fit into my sawmill, even though I have like the Sawmax O2L or whatever it's called. So... Uh, sometimes it won't fit regardless and it's just better off to leave that piece of wood whereas um, fighting over it trying to get it in won't really work what we're going to go ahead and do is um, put these uh, last pieces in you can even uh, bring those smaller pieces if you'd like but right now they're just very insignificant so we're going to go ahead and we'll just leave those behind because uh sure it's potential money but it's not really worth the hassle but we're going to go ahead and we're going to head down here and we do oh nope hold on we don't want to drop our lava wood, but we're going so fast. Let's close our goal really quickly. There we go, because we have that um, momentum in our... Excuse me. We have the momentum in our trunk, and then we're going downhill, so all of it makes us just go that bit, uh, bit more faster in the game. But we're heading to our base now, or we can just head to Water Rest to sell it, but we're going to go ahead and sawmill this, then sell it. And in the event you do have pieces that don't fit into your sawmill, uh, you can even, uh, you can probably sell them at the wood drop-off. You we won't get as much money as sawmilled wood, but still, it's better than just leaving it on the ground. So um, I think my name is not dark, just left. Um, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to back into this uh, sawmill right here. There we go. And let's go ahead. We can lower our um, little door there. And let's go ahead. And we're going to change the size to 2.4 by maybe 2.4. Uh, 2.6 maybe. Yeah, we can do 2.6. Okay, so yeah. That's the max width. Let's go ahead and we're going to start putting these in here. And luckily we are in a private server. I just chose one because there is less lag, especially for this video. Uh, because sometimes in public servers, wood will not be detected by the sawmill and it'll just go straight through without actually sawmilling. But as you can see, we are getting massive logs of lava wood, which is great. It's sort of clogging our sawmill because we don't really have a good setup with conveyors and stuff to move the wood along. But we're just going to keep putting these in here until we're all out. And then we're going to move our truck around or actually we can just... Um, pick the pieces up and drop them in here and then prepare to sell them. So let's go ahead and get the last piece in like so. And keep in mind, I mean, we do have like 19,860,000 money. Uh, it's a lot, but I mean, 
it's um we're gonna see how much we can sell this for even though it won't really matter because i have so much it's probably gonna sell for maybe i'm guessing fifty thousand, which is a whole lot um especially for newer players which makes this a great wood but there are also better woods in the game which you can try out um ice wood sells for more per unit of wood if that makes sense so Definitely, if you want to get more money um, per piece of wood, do ice wood. But lava wood comes in such large quantities, especially with how large the trees are. Though it is a bit more limited because there are fewer trees than ice wood. But ice wood, I'll probably have a whole separate video on, but I did probably do one recently. I don't exactly know. But we're going to get this final piece into our truck, and let's go ahead and prepare to sell it by closing the hatch and hopping into our driver's seat and going to Wood or Us. And now that we are at Wood or Us, let's go ahead and back up our truck to the sawmill. And this is pretty simple. All you have to do is open the door and then just pop the pieces of wood onto the conveyor. And let's see how much we make. We have 860,000 right now. Round that up to 861,000. And let's just load it all up and see how much we make. It's going to be a good surprise. I'm guessing 50,000. It might be a bit more, a bit, maybe less. I don't know. I haven't sold lava wood in such a long time. But if we look here... Uh-oh. Huh. Well, that wasn't a lot of money. We made about um, 5,000 from that. I guess I had my hopes up way, way, way too high. I don't know why I thought a tree would give me 50,000. Gave me 5,000, which I'm very grateful for. So I definitely recommend checking out the volcano, especially if you are newer to the gaming. You can make some nice money. But also keep in mind, Icewood is a great alternative, and I'll have a video on that coming out soon. But other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. And before I do end today's video, uh, be sure to subscribe. I am on the road to 100,000 subscribers this year. And I do owe a shout out to all of my Discord server boosters and channel members. So you can join the Discord server at Dis oh, oops. Nope, not that one. Discord.gg slash bunny films. Uh, but a shout out to Nago Films, the ISS, Lystrosaur, One Mangry Gamer YT, Matthew1164, Dexter Clyde, Devil, Nayday, Stirrup, Epic Nation HD, uh, Messiah Johnson. Uh, Discord server boosters, we have Six Picks, Aliwa, Big Blocks Dad, Billy Bob, Biddy Boy, Brady Gamer, Dexter Cly, DQ3W5, El Taco, Finbar, Image, Liming Lumber, Lil Guys Owner, Mr. OK, Nee, Reed, um, Rikitsi, uh, Sir Gilberto, Surf, The Lonely Canadian, and uh, Liam's. Also, we did have a, um, another person in the server. I do want to give him a little shout out. I think it was, yeah, the Canadian Badger. I think maybe we said his name. Uh, but I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you have a happy new year. I mean, it's only 13th, but still, it's, it's a relatively new year. But have a great day and goodbye.